and dropping in, making sure a new lifeboat is ready for action. Yeah, I wouldn't want to have been in that, I think, but, uh, <laughs> first. A project in Bristol is trying to challenge stereotypes around race and different communities. Mandem shares stories, music and film for and about young black men and women. Well, one of the latest projects it features is Identity Matters. It's a series of photos about the experiences of young Bristolians from African and Caribbean communities. The photographer, Olimide Oshinoiki, is here, along with the man behind Mandem, who is Elias Williams. And Elias, it makes sense, I think, to start by talking about one of the pictures that's featured in the exhibition, and that's of your brother. Explain, yeah. explain what this photo is about. Yeah, so that one is, is about crossing the street, right? So I think that um, there's been a, there's kind of been a lot of media imagery um, sort of over the last few decades of, of black males kind of being portrayed as, as the thug, you know, and there's all this talk of knife crime. And I think it kind of helps to, to, to put fear in the mind of young black males in some instances. So that kind of post-it quote represents the insecurity that can be um, felt in all young black males. And your, your talks have sort of unearthed lots of insecurities and stereotyping that people have experienced. What else has been an emerging theme? Um, I think one of the main themes for those involved, those that modelled, was um, discovering this sense of dual identity. So a lot of us have African heritage, um, Jamaican heritage, and there's a complexity that comes with defining yourself as British, but also acknowledging your heritage and your history. So um, for a lot of people, it's been um, really cathartic, almost like to have that sense of identity restored in like a healthy way um, and denouncing stereotypes. It, it, and you've got together, haven't you, in a room and you've had conversations. Mm. And these meetings have been very successful, haven't they? Yeah, yeah usually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, the last one, we had, we had a, a big public panel-led discussion on identity politics on Monday and we sold out the Arnold Feeney. That's the third time now. It's really amazing. We get all these young people turning up, all from different backgrounds. Um, it's, it's really nice. And is there a theme to it? Is there sort of other similar sort of stories emerging from it, from your experiences? Um, yeah, I suppose. So, I mean, we kind of have focused on race, class and gender. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of stories that, that overlap and people from the audience always have things to contribute as well. What are you hoping that Mandem achieves, if you like? Yeah, I mean, I, th I just hope it can help, um, as, as you mentioned earlier, break the stereotypes around young men of colour. Um, I also hope it can help to just strengthen the political voice of young people as well, um, because that's who we seem to be engaging largely. There's another photo, Olimide, of, of your name. Just talk a little bit about, mm. about that one. Um, I think one of the main, I guess you could call it a microaggression, that uh, young black people face in this country is um, the substitution of our um, African heritage names for maybe an anglicised name. Um, and it can't help but feel like there's a sense of convenience about it um, and maybe a lack of effort on behalf of, I don't know, whether it's the employer or the new friend or whoever. Um, and it was just to claim back that primary sense of identity that actually my name is my name. <laughs> and so what do people call you? Ollie. Um, Oli is very different from Olumide, you know, and in, in my language Yoruba, Olumide has a meaning um, and it's actually to do with my faith as well that God has come and all of that to be switched. I mean, I've got nothing against the name Oli, but, you know, there's... Oli's <laughs> <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, God bless you, Oli's, but uh, yeah. it's, it's a very different thing. But people probably weren't trying to offend you. No, of course, of course, and this is the thing. I'm, um, I'm very aware that it's, it's, it's a lack of information rather than a lack of uh, empathy yeah. or, or feeling. So you would know? you rather people had a go at your name mm. uh, and got it wrong? Get it wrong, let's have a laugh. Call, let's call it Ollie. <laughs> that's right. yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's really interesting. Yeah, it's better. It's better to try and fail. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's very counteractive to British culture sometimes, but, you know, it's OK. <laughs> I'm not going to be angry about it. Good. Well, good luck. <laughs> uh, don't go away because we've got something else to ask you because uh, whether it's for work or play, Bristol's proving a magnet for young people and interactive